3.5 velocities. In this section, we will look at the definition and the relationship between the two velocities, linear and angular velocities. Definition, linear velocity. If P is the point on the circle of radius R and P moves a distant S on the circumference of the circle in the amount of the time T, then the linear velocity V of the point P is given by the formula V equals S over T. Angular velocity, if P is the point moving with uniform circular motion on a circle of radius R and the line from the center of the circle through P sweeps out a central angle theta in radian in the amount of the time T, then the angular velocity with the notation omega of the point P is given by the formula omega equals the theta over T. Note the V equals S over T, the omega equals the theta over T. The relationship between the two velocities, linear and angular velocities. If a point is moving with uniform circular motion on a circle of radius r, then the linear velocity v and angular velocity omega of the point are related by the formula v equals r times theta, r times omega. To show that as v equals s over t, we rearrange the term or solve for t to get t equals s over v, and the omega equals theta over t, solve for t to get theta over omega. From the definition, the theta equals s over r. We replace s over r within the formula for the t in the omega formula. So the t equals s over r divided by omega, or S over omega R. Both of them are expression for the time T. Equate them to get S over V equals S over omega R. Therefore, V equals omega R or R times omega. Examples. Example one. Find the linear velocity v or v equals s over t of the point moving with the uniform circular motion if the point covers a distance s in the amount of the time t, where part a s equals 12 centimeters and t is 5 minutes. So v equals s over t or 12 centimeters divided by 5 minutes. And the answer is 2.4 centimeters per minute. Part B, S equals 5.6 feet and T is 15 seconds. So the V, which is S over T, the S is 5.6 feet. The time T is 15 seconds. Therefore, the answer result simplified to be 0 0.37 foot per second. Example two, find the distance S covered by a point moving with linear velocity V. V equals 40 miles per hour for a time T equals 30 minutes. From the formula, V equals S over T. We are going to find the distance S or S equals V times T. What we know is V equals 40 miles per hour and the time t is 30 minutes. Make minutes to be the hour. This is 30 minutes divided by 60 minutes to be 0 0.5 hour. So from this information, we place within the formula. So S equals the V, which is 40, and multiply by the time, which is 0 0.5, and we get the S equals 20 miles. Example three, point P sweeps out central angle theta 
as it rotates on a circle of radius r as given below. In each case, find the angle velocity of point P. The angular velocity, which is omega, is theta over t, and t is in radian. In part A, the theta is 3 pi over 8, the t is 5 minutes. Omega equals theta over t, or 3 over 8 pi, divided by 5. And we write division into multiplication of the reciprocal to have 3 over 8 times pi times 1 over 5. Simplify the numbers to be 3 pi over 40 or 0 0.24. The unit of the theta is radian. Unit of the time is minute. So the answer is 0 0.24 radian per minute. Part B. The theta is 120 degrees and T is 1.2 hours. The theta is in uh, degrees. We have to convert it into radian by multiplying by pi over 180 degrees or simplify to be 2 pi over 3 radians. To find omega or the angular velocity using the formula theta over T. The theta is 2 pi over 3 divided by the t, which is 1.2 hours. And then simplify to have 2 pi over 3 multiplied by 1 over 1.2 and give us 1.745 unit is radian per hour 